Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your Maserati host, and this is the Sunday Rant. This is a Maserati GT. Uh, it's super windy out, so I'm going to look at it uh, without the phone, and but we're going to get into the Sunday Rant first. Then it's Maserati time. Today on the Sunday Rant, I would like to talk about a recent conference put on by Women in Trucking. Yes, womenintrucking.org. It's the Accelerate uh, Conference. I exa the exact name uh, escapes me at the moment. One of the uh, sessions that they had there was to uh, get more diversity in trucking because it's important. Rather than having the best people, it's just more important to be more diverse. We can get what? electric trucks because that's what young people are looking for gen z or whatever younger people because you know whenever you talk to them they always say you know i'd love to be a truck driver except there aren't any electric trucks that's what's important to them right and of course this uh, session is put on by four people are any of them drivers no <laughs> no they are not they have like masters of science degrees and uh, journalists, drivers, uh, no, no, no. H how to stop, you know, less carbon in the uh, transportation logistics field. That's important. Young people, maybe you could get younger people in if you actually paid them something. Okay, because they're not bringing their man buns in if you're not paying them. All right, they're not coming out of their basements or whatever. I'm just saying that. Is that what do you think brings people into the industry? Electric trucks? Maybe some people. I guess some people only look for a specific truck. But once they get in the industry, they're going to realize that the same huge companies that can afford the initial electric trucks are the ones that pay garbage, make you sit for hours or days without being paid. And uh, then they wonder, oh, we spent $80 billion on 10 trucks and we can't find anybody to drive them. Yeah. That's right, because they're taking their MERS, which is a man purse, and they're leaving. They're leaving the industry, right? Because this kind of thing is ridiculous. It's how to get diversity through electric trucks. That's crazy. That kind of stuff is maddening. These four people who don't drive, although one is, uh, you know, works at PepsiCo in the transportation part. Why don't they look at their own industry and say, oh, how to get people to the industry through paying them for their time? That's a conference. You never see that conference at any of these places. You never see that. And I'd like to put that conference on, really. That's what I would like to do. But uh, that's it for today. That's, uh, I just had to get, I just had to talk about that. I mean, it's just these kind of stupid conference things like this with ridiculous topics are just stupid and don't do anything to improve the industry in any way. Right, electric trucks is not going to bring people in the industry in droves. Oh my gosh, there's people lining up now that you have an electric truck. Ridiculous. All right, so quick one today. Thanks for watching. It's super windy. Winds to up to 60 miles an hour here today. Be careful. Don't get blown over, uh, but we'll see you on the live show every Monday at 12.30 p.m. right here on this same bat channel at a different bat time. All right, see you there. Thanks for watching Trucking Answers.